Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arby's Cafe and Sherry is with me today. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Cynthia. We're super happy we're talking about weddings, weddings. today. Everyone loves weddings, right? And what is the irony of it? We dress in black. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean anything. No. We love weddings. <laughs> we do. We do. How was yours, by the way? My you wedding show me pictures. was um, wonderful. Uh -huh. Very traditional. Right. Um, my uh, both sides of my husband's family and both sides of my family are all um, from hometown. Okay. And so we had a lot of family okay. at our wedding, and um, yeah, it was it was wonderful. But your dress, yeah. you talk to me about your dress. That is pretty right. pretty amazing. Right. So um, my mom had a beautiful satin gown um, from the fifties, and um, this was the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> So I wasn't loving the 50s style. Right. I would love it today. It was so cute. Um, but satin and um, uh, our, also our body shapes were different, so it needed to be altered. Right. So we took some of the details off of her dress, stripped mm -hmm. it down to just the bot, satin bodice and gown, and then covered it in lace. And then um, nice. we beaded the lace, which oh. was, um, when I say we, my mom did, <laughs> bless her heart, 99% <laughs> of the beading. Oh. Um, but it had a really pretty little lattice um, pattern to the lace uh -huh. and then floral. And so we beaded along the, wow. uh, we just followed the pattern in the lace right. and then added little pearls and, and uh, crystals. Today I would. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> with the crystals and beads that are, that are available uh -huh. now. Boy, would that be fun, but, um, yeah. but it turned out really pretty. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful, beautiful yeah, dress. And then you. you're so beautiful on the pictures oh. with your husband. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yes. 32 years. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, my wedding was more simpler than that. <laughs> uh, we, Devin and I, we met in Japan, and we lived there for six years. And then we decided to get married, so we didn't have family with us because we were married in Japan and um, no ceremony, no nothing. Mm -hmm. I was in jeans. I did mm -hmm. have a blazer. <laughs> Devin has a really nice shirt, but in jeans also. <laughs> and we Cute. walked to the city office to get married Aww. there. <laughs> and we had a, a very good friend uh, being there with us. And uh, one of my students, because I was teaching French, and she brought me a wedding bouquet. So that was really sweet. Uh, but still, nice. there was no ceremony, but we were still pretty nervous, you know, it's mm -hmm. a big thing. And we just have to uh, sign papers and um, make sure that the papers, they were well translated from French to Japanese, mm -hmm. from English to Japanese. Oh, wow. Yeah, there was a lot of papers. <laughs> and then they took our passport, our papers, everything, and they say, okay. So we're like, okay, what does that mean? And Devin say, so are, are we married? And he said, yeah, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, my, my student and our friends start to applause and all the employee in the, uh, in the office applause too. But Japanese Cute. don't get married in, in city um, offices like okay. that. They get married at temples. So for okay. them, it was, it was something really weird, I guess. Right. <laughs> but it's, it's a great memory. Our wedding certificate is all in yep. Japanese. Oh, so. neat. And, uh, yeah. yeah, so it's something, you know. We we keep we keep with us. It's yeah. Right. It was, it's mm. a great little. Uh, it is. It's little. whatever it is that's yours. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I didn't have any jewelry. I wasn't really dressed. So I think that now I'm making jewelry for weddings, <laughs> <laughs> for others to enjoy. And uh, let's start with uh, my side then. Um, first, I, I love this one. This is a really big too. piece. And I, you know, I know some. For some dresses, some people want something simple, and then sometimes you want something bigger. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really big piece, and it is uh, actually six strands that I, um, how do you say, the braid? I braided? Okay. That I braided. Yeah. And I, I really love this piece. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I do too. And then this one too, so it's the same bead. It's a Swarovski, and it's the um, white uh, pearlescent uh, bead. And in this one, I added copper. I love how the copper has warmed up the pearls. The pearls yes. seem to just sort of absorb the colors that are around it. I think it's beautiful. And the difference between the two Isn't is amazing? really interesting. It's a yeah. really fun pearl to work with. It's, it's really a pearl that yeah. it keeps surprising me. The more I use it, the more I'm like, wow, that yeah, works too. And it's it beautiful. looks different. That's true. And I love the clasp. Yes. <laughs> so the clasp you can put in the back or you can put in the yeah. middle. It's 
any way you want. Very pretty. Thank you. And then those are very, very simple, like the, the top necklace, they just, um, uh, it's a ball chain and I just put three little pearls because if you want something simple, like I said, and then the bottom necklace is actually a very long strand of a ball chain that you can put, you can do three strand, you can nice. do two strand and then make a knot. So they're very uh, versatile, versatile. Uh, uh, like simple like and that. delicate. Yes, and talking about delicate and simple, I love those also. If you don't want to do a necklace, what about a bracelet? And this is mm -hmm. a really, really small bracelet. It's a ball chain and it's it's shiny. It's, it's really just pretty. sparkles. Yes. It's about little facets. Yes, and then you have here um, the Swarovski um, cup chain that is really cute too. And another another necklace here that mm. is very very simple beautiful so you can go either way very oh simple definitely and like you said the, the dress that you wear makes a big difference um, so today um, a lot of the dresses are very open on the top mm -hmm. a lot of um, sleeveless mm -hmm. and yet yeah, you're still seeing very delicate pieces too very large right. so that's the fun thing about being able to um, do whatever you want make yes. make what you want and make and your be, own make your own, your own memories yeah. Yeah. yeah and talking about big pieces you have to talk about this. <laughs> this is just amazing. So this is pretty showy, but really simple. These are individual um, cup chain links, and okay. they're just strung on jewelry wire with some spacers. And um, these are pearls on um, head pins. Okay. And then I covered the um, simple loop. I made simple loops Good. and then covered them with um, crimp covers. So that, because um, otherwise there was there was going to be a little spacing. You're going to see that jewelry wire between the links, right. and so I toyed with putting some beads in between. And then I thought, well, I just want a clean little yes. bead, and covered it, and it um, it's worked really well. Right. So the bead cover doesn't close completely that. around that okay. um, loop, but it closes really well, and then it, um, both pieces just slide on the jewelry wire. Okay, that's an and amazing so, piece. This is really um, beautiful. Showy, but goes to, together pretty fast. Yes. Um, this is a fun vintage um, piece with the antique silver and mm -hmm. the swaro pearls and crystals. And I love just the multi-strand um, um, chunky right. look of it, but still yes. very feminine, very delicate. And then um, a couple different, oops, sorry, a couple of different little earring right. choices here. Those would um, be pretty yeah, too, very simple. The, um, pearl uh, on the bottom, mm -hmm. I just think are classic. Right. Um, and then here I have a crocheted strand. And um, when I say crochet, this you know my version, I don't crochet. <laughs> it's just that simple, um, what do you call the starting yes, uh, it's, stitch? Yes, it's the slip <laughs> piece. It's a slip piece. So anybody can right, do it. There is right. no crochet, uh, no. Too, much, too much technique right. in there. And so just slid the pearls and crystals on. And, and I did three at a time, which gives it a pretty little scallop right. look. Um, yes. And so love that. And you can make it any length you want. You can wear it as a necklace or a bracelet. Right. So very versatile. Um, this is pretty showy. Oh. This is, but so fast and simple to make. These are the you strands of the cup chain and they just slide. The ends okay. of the, the um, links just slide right into these end pieces. Mm -hmm. Fold the end pieces down. I think you can have that, that in a half hour. Super fast really? to make. Yeah, and very showy. Very showy. And, and then, I like this little ball yeah, so that you put there. Yeah, very dressy. And mm -hmm. then same with the earrings, just the fun um, a beautiful. Uh, cascade. And you can you know make that however long you want. Right, so yeah. They can be very because dramatic. it is the trend to have those very long earrings, right? right. Yeah, so you can cut that. Beautiful. You can stagger them however you mm -hmm. want. Um, this strand uh, necklace is um, three sta strands of just the classic pearls, mm -hmm. and we've got the um, color, the really soft muted um, color, which I think kind of sets um, it apart from the center focal. Right. And you could do any color combo right. and just still have it very classic. And, and, and I love the class that you yeah. choose. Isn't it that is pretty? So beautiful. Really pretty hook. Um, clasp and um, just again just classic yes. just beautiful yes. beautiful quality um, this was a little more contemporary look mm -hmm. these are the hex pyramid beads they're a two hole bead and um, this one's super easy and fast to put together they're just two strands um, strung together and um, gives it dressy but contemporary right. Uh, right. fun look 
And um, here I have another really classic piece, mm -hmm. pearls, with um, the little spacers or the um, crystals in between, just for that little bit of crystal. It's not super mm -hmm. sparkly, but definitely dresses up the otherwise standard mm -hmm. um, piece. And then we have these wonderful clasps. They're, they're magnetic, and the um, magnets are um, separate. And so mm -hmm. you, you, you uh, crimp your jewelry wire through the inside of okay. the end piece, and then you glue the magnet over the top. So it's all very right. flush and secure and gives it a really professional yeah. look. Um, yeah, it's, it's a, a really neat finish. You don't see any Beautiful crimp finish, nothing. yeah. It's and it has a nice strong magnet, so it's a, a good um, quality um, finish. Okay. Oh, then I have um, this collar in the rose gold, which I, it's one of my favorites it, it now. I think amazing. if I were getting married now, I, <laughs> I would probably go rose gold. I just love it. Um, very feminine and um, dressy. We've got the little um, rose pearls and then the right. rose crystals um, on so which, the ends. And which technique is that? This so is a, um, like a netting okay. type stitch. Um, it looks very complicated, but once you um, get a couple rows down, it's just repetitive. Oh, so, and it goes pretty fast, okay. much faster than it looks. Okay. It's, it's, it isn't a fast piece overall, definitely right. some time, but um, it, there's not a lot of variation. Once you get going, mm -hmm. then you just repeat. So it's, um, it's, it's a fun, fun project yes. and, and I think worth the time. It would be a wonderful gift, wouldn't it? That's true, yeah. that's true. Um, and then, fun little simple um, pearl cluster dangle, and we've got the multicolored pearls in there, um, mixing the warm and the cool, and mm -hmm. um, little uh, clustered earrings to match. And you can oh, change okay. that up to however, you, it could be ta more tassel if you want. Um, this is a little simple, simpler, and um, um, love that warm, love the, yes. the warmth that the different color pearls yes. give to that. And then this was a, a really fun piece. This is a, um, uh, this leaf section. I've got two of them together that I've wired together and gave them just a little bit of a curve to right. uh, form over the wrist and, and then just wired up pearls and crystals on top um, in sprigs yes. and then uh, attached it to the beautiful wide um, ribbon, silk ribbon, which then just wraps around right. your wrist it could or be your head. Also a headband. Sure, yeah. it would be beautiful too. It'd be a beautiful headband. Mm. So you can you can use those pieces in a lot of different ways. I mean, right. as a brooch or or a, at a belt, um, all all kinds of different ways. Right. And then oh, I love yeah. this uh, delicate piece you did. Y here we have, have yeah, yeah, simple vintage look, very delicate. So um, pretty. And uh, really easy to put together and right. um, I think fun. Yeah. And then beautiful pearl strand. Yeah, and this one is knotted because it's very classic too. And um, again, you can do several um, several lengths nice. around you or you can let it long. And I like to make a knot with my pearls beautiful. also. Beautiful. Um, and then pearls are always very classic and you know, you can go wrong with pearls no. if you're really dressed. And, and then you have them forever. That's true. Right? Yes. That's and then I have true. a little something blue and oh, um, right. these really sweet little um, dangle earrings. And I think earrings are a fun place to put that little something blue. Um, That's true. But really sweet little um, crystal drop. And, um, and it could be any shade. This is a wonderful sort of uh, hydrangea blue, mm -hmm. but it could be more aqua, it could be yes. a robin's egg, it could be whatever your shade of blue is. So <laughs> That's really beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you, Cherise, for showing oh, us all of you. those jewelry. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people, they do make their own jewelry for their wedding. A lot of people oh. do their own preparation. Right. And, and uh, sometimes it's difficult to start and thinking where, what do I do? And, and I hope we inspire you with this video. Uh, we love making wedding jewelry, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to our email newsletter uh, to get our promotion and new ideas. Ideas like those wedding jewelry. So thank you again, merci. Au revoir, à bientôt. <laughs> bye bye.